the A11 between the N49 to Kanoka and the N31 to Sebrouche runs right through the polder landscape. A site that was reclaimed from the sea by human intervention, canal dikes are stabilized by poplars. A curtain of reeds and pollard willows strengthen the canal banks. The A11 infrastructure project integrates these landscape elements within its design to ensure the polder landscape is preserved and strengthened without losing sight of the road user's experience. The intersection with Na Tinalan and Dutzelestrat at the end of the N49 is the gateway to the east coast and became an elevated roundabout. Below you cycle along the watercourses with reed collars and gently rolling green slopes. Above, coastal traffic passes along an urban boulevard with planted avenues. At the heart of the roundabout, the Swinavat and north and south waterways merge into a natural wadi landscape. Only the seasons have a hold on the water level. As a result, the traffic artwork becomes one with the landscape. The A11 connects with a new interchange, the N49 from Antwerp. That expressway is marked by an important landscape element with rows of trees that extend into the interchange. In order not to affect the protected bird area in the open polder landscape of West Capella, the new highway dives below ground. A sense of openness and safety is created in the semi-open tunnel through backward sloping walls. The round and slender design of tunnel mouths, escape huts and safety barriers, and the smart lighting. The driving comfort is maximized while the landscape remains unaffected. The Shipdonk and Leopold canals, flanked by poplars, form the most eye-catching landscape element. The historic towpath is maintained through the elevated position of the slender bridges of the intersecting A11 route and with a design that seamlessly fits in the natural formal environment. The entrance and exit complex to the seaport is located above the train connection to Kunoka Heist that required a tunnel to be built over the railway with a 10-meter high wall constructed of stacked concrete blocks. This way, the limited space between polder and port was optimally utilized with a fitting design. The A11 now follows the route of the former Port Edge Road and forms the natural boundary between the polder of Dutzela and the port of Sebrouche. By conceiving the roadside wall as a naturally overgrown slope with tree rows along the Zedelingsevat, the boundary is integrated into the existing landscape. For cyclists and hikers, it feels as if they are in the middle of the polder landscape. A new and impressive landmark is the double movable bascule bridge that lets the A11 cross the Baudouin Canal at a height of 15 meters. It provides access to the hinterland for large seagoing vessels with no significant road traffic disruptions. As a narrow ribbon, the A11 merges on a high viaduct with its surroundings and thus preserves the openness of the underlying landscape. Of course, the local residents are an important part of the landscape. That is why the historic station road between Dutzela and Blankenberger was reconnected. 15 kilometers of new cycle paths were created, and bicycle tunnels crossed the A11 route with backward sloping walls to let in as much natural daylight as possible. 
The new infrastructure is therefore not a barrier, but realizes a new connection tailored to allow local people to drive from one polder village to another. Finally, to make the landscape integration complete, efforts were strongly focused on an ecological layout around the route. In that respect, the Lisse Wegsebart is diverted via fauna passages around the new interchange with the N31. With Firebrush's design, the A11 guarantees a smooth, traffic-safe and beautiful future in which the experience of road users in the landscape and the natural cycle of that landscape are brought together and strengthened through the integral, high-quality infrastructure design.